Hi guys, this is the Tentacle Track E, and this little device will give you perfect audio every time. You never have to set your levels. You will never peak. Watch this. Whoa! 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 See that? No peaking. I just brought those levels down in post. It's like magic. 32-bit float. Let's talk about it. Okay, so first of all, guys, a huge thanks to Tentacle for sending this out for review. The Track E, they also sent the Sync E, two of these, which are time code devices, and they work with this guy because he is also a time code device. And Tentacle are so awesome as a company. They've been very responsive. They sent me this thing back in, I don't know what, like a, like a year ago, maybe? They have been so patient with this review, and I have used this constantly. I just have been dragging my feet on the review. It's just, I wanted it to be perfect, you know? But perfect is the enemy of good. It's just, I, I like it so much. It's, it's ironic. I wanted the video to be so good that it took me a long time to make it. And, uh, but you know what? I have to make it now because this is now invaluable to my setup, especially because I use ZV cameras. I have the ZV E1 and uh, the ZV E10. Their onboard microphones are actually quite good. So what I like to do is take this, put it on my chest, and then I never have to set the levels because of 32-bit float. We'll talk about that in a second. And then I use this all the time as my actual microphone. I sync it up in post to my cameras, but then I have a backup recording on the camera with their nice onboard microphone. So can I have my cake and eat it too? I have my fantastic sounding lavalier mic, and then if something happens, something goes wrong, somebody starts slapping me on the chest, that happens all the time, actually, then I can just use the uh, microphone there on the camera, and I am covered. Redundant recording. I got the two. Someone's out there doing a leaf blower right now, but you can't hear it because the track E is only picking up my husky voice. Now here is the sound coming from the Sony ZV-E1, which people say has a very good onboard microphone. And this is the sound of the Tentacle Track E coming from my lovely chest right here, my wonderful clavicle. What do you guys think? What is the difference? This is the Sony ZV-E1, and this is the Tentacle Track E. But even without the backup recording on the camera, this is still invaluable to me because I just grab it and go. I don't have to set the levels. You see, 32-bit float, it doesn't matter. You can't peak it. If you speak too quietly, you can just bring it up, and the noise floor won't change. If you speak too loudly, you can just bring it down, and it won't peak. The only thing you can do to it, you can overload the microphone itself, and then there's nothing it can do about that. So if you're screaming directly into the capsule, or there's a lot of wind noise, then uh, you're are going to still get some problems, but that is just a limitation of microphones in general. So you make sure you get one of these furry little wind muffs for the actual microphone itself when you're outside. I use it all the time. A lot of times people say, your audio sounds really good. What is that? It is usually the Tentacle Track E. So it also has this fantastic slick app where you can control everything, and that's where you switch it into 32-bit float. So let me just show you that right now. There is the app, and then it pops up, and uh, here we have, you can see right away, there is my voice going up and down. The time code is already recording, as it always does. And uh, down there, you see the device name. Under the device name, you see recording format. It is in 48 kilohertz. 32-bit float, and then you can have it in the 48 kilohertz, 24-bit. That is how it comes default out of the box. That is just like a regular microphone. You can set your levels here in the app if you want, but I don't know why you would do that when you have 32-bit float. So you leave it on the 32-bit float. If your voice is too low, you bring it up. If it's too high, you bring it down. Auto power off, auto, auto, auto power off time. If you want it to power off after a certain period of time, the battery lasts for ever. By the way, I think I've only charged it twice in like a year. It is crazy good battery. The headphone volume, because the device actually has a headphone port on it right there, so you can monitor your audio, which is great. And the LED brightness, if you don't want it to be so obvious you're recording, you can turn on the LED brightness or in fact turn it off entirely. Here's your uh, formatting of your SD card, because it has a little SD card included there. And um, so when there's my recording, you can see my levels going up and down. There's a low pass filter 
and mic plug-in power. Taking a look at the build quality here, it is just a hard plastic which makes it nice and light. It has a slot for the SD card and actually comes with the SD card which is great and it's charged by USB-C. It has the locking pin for the actual uh, lavalier microphone itself which is a high quality sounding lavalier microphone and it also has a headphone jack to monitor your audio. Then you have your power switch on the side which you have to hold down for a little while for it to turn on and hold down for a little while for it to turn off, which is great. You won't accidentally turn off your lavalier microphone when you want to record. You just pull up on that button and uh, it's as simple as that. The Sync E feels just like the Track E, except it is a bit smaller and it's charged by USB-C and then you can just take your time code out from the actual little 3.5 millimeter jack to your camera's microphone port. So what about these things here? This is the Sync E and these are ridiculously fantastic. If you have a multi-cam setup, these are indispensable. So what, it, what they are is they're time code jammers. A lot of the mirrorless cameras uh, we're using these days, they don't output time code and uh, these actually will fix that. So say you had three or four cameras set up, you get one for each of your camera, you just uh, hook it in to the microphone port and one of the audio tracks on your camera becomes time code. And then in post, you can sync up all of your cameras instantaneously, no matter how many clips you've shot, you don't have to do it manually. If you, and that can be, you can be hundreds of clips sometimes when you have a project starting and stopping, starting and stopping. But when you have the time code generated for all of the cameras with these devices, just one click and they are all synced up on your timeline. It is crazy, crazy good. And of course, it syncs up with uh, the Track E as well. So you have another time code here on your lavalier microphone. The so, so great. So of course, a giant shout out to Tentacle Sync for not only making great products that really help budget filmmakers like myself. You have time code, you have 32-bit float, and also thanks to them for being so patient with my review. I adore their products and I recommend them extremely highly. Let me know down below if you guys, if this is something you'd be interested in. Do you do 32-bit float? If so, what are your devices? There's not a ton on the market. Tentacle Sync is one of the only places where you can get a 32-bit float. Zoom is now making a 32-bit float a lavalier recorder, but that is not a time code device like this guy that will jive with the other tentacle time code devices. So personally, this is the one for me. Let me know what you guys think down below. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.